Hello and welcome to C++11 Beginner Tutorials by Gamer to Creator. I'm Chris. First thing we're going to do now that we have Visual Studio open is import some settings. These settings will set up your IDE so that the syntax highlighting is much more colorful and useful and it will hopefully make learning easier. So go to tools import export settings I will provide a link to my settings file in the description so click import you can save your old settings if you want to back them up and reinstall them later but next we need to click browse now go to where your settings file is wherever you downloaded it to and open it Next, it'll say which settings do you want to import. You can just leave it how it is and click finish. And there you go. The settings are imported, and now we can make a new project. We're going to make a console application. We'll just call it lesson making an empty project that should be the only one that's checked under additional options is empty project and you want the application type to be a console application click finish and it will make your solution in Visual Studio, whenever you make a new project, you actually are creating a new solution. Inside of your solutions, you can have multiple projects. So we have a solution called Lesson 1, and in it there is one project called Lesson 1. And if you don't see this over here on the left, just click the Solution Explorer. And it might even be on the right side. Um, depends on what settings. So what we're going to do first is set up a few things. So right click on your project and click properties. Now there's a lot of stuff in here so try not to get overwhelmed. Uh, go to configuration properties, general. And right here it says character set unicode. Change that to multi-byte. This means that it will consider strings to be one byte or just a character instead of using Unicode. Um, Unicode is multiple bytes per character, um, and it's it's more complicated than just using ANSI ANSI. So we have that set. The next thing we want to go to general change this to level 4. This is the warning level. This will give you more information about your application which will help you learn. And if you make any mistakes that are technically still valid language um, syntax, this will give you a warning hopefully and lead you towards finding the bug and a possible solution. So I think that's about all we need to do for now. And in the um, in the next video, we will write our first application, a Hello Word application.